Do you think that women should be free to walk around topless in public places, just as men can? Why question mark slash why not? It's been legal in Ontario, Canada since 1996. I have witnessed exactly zero women taking advantage of this new freedom. It's legal where I live lol I mean no one does it but it's still legal eat it, on my inbox holy shit. I don't think it's illegal in any European country, and it is quite common, in some countries, for women to be shirtless for example on a beach or by a pool. Yeah it freaked my wife out a little when we went to a beach in Spain and half of the women there were topless. I was just like, it's Europe, they do that here. Lol my wife was like duck it, when in Spain. I would do that there if I didn't have Voldemort colored skin. I don't care what others do as long as I don't have to participate. I have the chest of a 9 year old boy, so yeah, let's go at it, if anyone is gonna be sliding into my DMs, can it please be successful man in the Los Angeles area looking for a serious relationship? Thank you smile okay, you guys are great thanks for the medals. What did you do with his head? You're asking the real questions. Asking too many questions. I'd say not enough questions. In Sweden you can get a ticket for going topless as a man actually. What if you're swimming? Do they wear those 30s men's swimsuits? Whether it is illegal or not is decided by the reason the person chooses to be topless. In Sweden it is not illegal per se to even be butt naked in public places but if someone reports it and court finds the action to be made to disturb or harass someone, you will be charged with indecent exposure. This is not common knowledge here and you will probably be stopped on sight even by an educated cop if you're butt naked. All men go topless on the beach and I would suspect no one has ever been charged for it actually. I think that when appropriate a woman should be allowed, yay. Like I don't really enjoy seeing shirtless men in the high street, but on beaches at a hot day in the park then sure, I see no problem with that. I would prefer that both men and women remain clothed in public. That being said if it's legal for a man, it should also be legal for a woman. I agree. It'd say on a beach it should be acceptable. Yes. Though I wouldn't recommend it in my country as even in summer it's still a bit chilly. Edit, thank you for all the upvotes. Ooh I love you all three. If it weren't for nipples, boobies would be pointless edit, woah ooh. Gold and silver medals, or medals, depending on your point of view. Thank you kind strangers for the recognition of a pointless line I have used many times but only just entered on Reddit. I appreciate you. I'm a 70 year old man with boobs and I don't think I should be allowed to be topless in public. Got to be proud of those titties. I think it's impolite, improper may be better, for guys to walk around topless unless the weather and work calls for it, in those circumstances I have no issue with women doing the same. Agreed. Or maybe a rule against going topless if you're going to sit in a chair on the bus or something. It's fine if you're walking around outside, but please don't get seats sweaty. It's kind of like going to the gym and cleaning up after. I think everyone would agree that shirts should be required on a bus. In most states, they are. And yet if we had another Janet Jackson wardrobe malfunction situation it would be treated as a huge deal. What is technically legal and how society reacts are on two very different pages still. Oh yeah, during one of the recent Winter Olympics the woman in the French couple's figure skating competition had a mild wardrobe malfunction where one of her nipples was revealed. It was shown live, then when the rerun aired they had censored it. I thought it was hilarious because you know the French would have no issue with it. I live in Ontario and I have no issue with it. We can watch blood and gore and rape on day television, but God forbid a nipple shows. I think the greater concern should be how she feels about it rather than the public. She was only worried about it impacting her score. They were two points behind the gold medalists, so they got silver in the end. To be clear from the start, this is actually legal in most of the USA. That said, I agree that it should be legal. It's a nipple. We've all seen them. Barring terrible accidents we all have too. Not one person in human history has ever been damaged by the sight of one. Consequently, I can think of no reason, other than fetishization, that women should be legally different from men in this regard, and the fetishization is self-perpetuating as long as it's taboo. I knew a man with three. 
A better question is, should female nipples be censored on TV when male nipples are not censored? Censor female nipples with male nipples. Would it be gay to get a boner from looking at that? Someone do the math. Should they be able to? Of course. Would I? Nope. 1. Boob sweat is uncomfortable in a sports bra, I don't wear regular bras, absorbs that sweat. 2. If I need to run or jog somewhere really quick, not working out, then it hurts without support. 3. Even if it's legal, lots of men, and some women, will still leer and be creepy about it, and I don't want to deal with that shit. Women in my city fought for the right, got it, but never actually used this right. It's still nice having the option to whenever you choose. On a beach both men and women should be able to walk around topless. On the streets neither should. Although I don't think it should be illegal in either place. Depends on where it is beach sure offices no weddings why not as long as bride and groom are okay funerals unless deceased explicitly wants it best wear something. Yes, but emo, ideally, everyone should keep their damn top on. Men included. Also children would be another story. It's actually totally legal to go topless in New York if I remember right it's only illegal if done for advertising purposes. Hashtag X200B, so do all you lovely ladies in the Big Apple, if you plan on whipping out your Big Apples, leave the Monster Energy drink pasties at home. When they first legalized it in New York State, you would see topless women at festivals all the time. Haven't seen that in 20 plus years now. Breasts are only taboo because we as a society make it a taboo. After a while of topless in public it will stop being seen as this sexual thing. Yes qualification, I have titties. It's ducking sweltering. Well the argument that men's chest aren't sexualized could be used here, but let's face it, there are some women that like a strong chest but it's not nearly as sexualized as women's chest. Yes. There are certain tribes that don't have these restrictions on women. However, it might take billions of people some time to get used to it. One day. In Ontario, Canada you can walk around topless in public. Man or woman. Every year at the beach I see men with larger breasts than most women, and nothing is said. I for one do not find nudity upsetting or obscene. What I do find obscene, is one half of our population forced to live differently, because of pointless laws. In Canada, women are allowed to be shirtless anywhere that a man can be shirtless. So walking down the street, at the beach, driving. I feel we shouldn't do to the sexualization of boobs. I mean, we wouldn't want guys walking around with their dicks out too. Also, it will probably provoke more sexual harassment so I feel as a safety thing we shouldn't too. No. No one should walk around topless unless they are at a pool, river, lake, or beach. There is just no reason for it at all. No. I don't want to see everyone's nasty ass titties. Men should keep it under their shirts as well. Men in America couldn't go topless in public in the 30s or thereabouts, they didn't like that so they protested and got the law changed. If women want to do the same thing then I couldn't care less. More power to them if they're prepared to do something about it. To be honest, I don't want to see anyone topless in public, man or woman, but I'm not going to get myself in a huff about it if that's what they want. It should be legal. I might crash my car, but that sounds like my fault to me. I need to be escorted into the ladies' room as a man with another coworker who is female, just so I can clean the bathrooms at work. Somehow I feel like America is still a little to prude in that way. I think Jerry Seinfeld had it right. We want to see boobs because women keep them hidden. If women wore hats all the time, we'd want to see the tops of their heads.